Welcome back to another Pico Gym exercise challenge video. In this video, we'll be walking through the web exploitation challenge, Who Are You? Let's get into it. Let me in, let me in. All right, so they give you a link to connect to. And it says only people who use the official Pico browser are allowed on this site. Okay, so that's referring to, well, anytime you want to change what browser you're using without actually changing the browser itself, you can simply modify the user agent. There's plenty of extensions that allow you to do this. I think mine's literally called user agent switcher or something like that, but any will do, and you can easily Google it and find something that'll change the user agent for you. Or you could go to the about config inside Mozilla and do it that way or whatever it is for Chrome as well and just look for the variable that you can or where you can modify the user agent. So I use an extension because it's persistent. I don't have to open up any other tabs or anything. It's just nice and handy and convenient. So let's type in Pico browser. Apply the container. Refresh. I don't trust users visiting from another site. So what this is referring to is the referrer HTTP header. We need to actually modify it so that the site thinks that we're coming from itself essentially, right? It doesn't trust any user visiting from a site other than its current instance. So that being said, we'll just open up the Firefox debug utilities and we're going to go to network refresh. Now I like how, what they've done with the inspector on Mozilla because it acts a lot more like Burp Suite now and here's why. So if I select this and I do resend, it automatically pulls this up and anytime I change the value or whatever, it'll either give me a new packet to click on or it's going to not do anything because it's the same outcome. Now we're going to add the refer header down here. And we're going to say Mercury Pico CTF .net. paste that in. And I believe that'll work. So let's go ahead and send that. And if we look at the response. OK, so now we have a new error message here, right? Sorry, this site only worked in 2018. OK, so that's probably referring to the date header, which I need to look up the format for. So we're going to go to Google and look up HTTP headers. And if we look at this first link, you'll see a bunch of headers listed on the left here. And we're just going to look for the date one. And let's see, there should be example here. Ah, here we go. So we'll just copy this example and we'll paste it here and we'll just change it from 2015 to 2018 and we'll say date. OK, then we'll resend. And then, as you can see, we have another error message. This website is only for people from Sweden. OK, so what that's referring to is the X forwarded for header, which is like a proxy header that tells you essentially you give it a host and it'll detect what country essentially it comes from. So if you're limited on a country basis, each country has its own set of IP addresses that fit within its range that the country identifies with. So let's go look at the X forwarded header. And I think all we have to do is literally put the, yeah, the IP address. So what we need to do is look up Sweden IP addresses. And any of these should work. So let's just use this first range right here. OK, and then we're going to say X forwarded for and put that IP address in there. And we're going to change the dot zero to a dot two just so it's not a network address. It's an actual valid, just straight up host address. And we'll do another send. You're in Sweden, but you don't speak Swedish. So it's talking about Sweden's language tag. So we need to account for that. And we want to say, I believe it's, I think it's the accept language one. It's either this one or the content language.
Or maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, well, so we'll try the accept language because that tells you what the natural language and locale the, the client prefers. It seems better than the content language or higher priority than the content language. So let's look up Sweden language tag. It looks like SV is Sweden's language tag. So let's try that. We want accept dash language, and then we want SV. Send. What can I say except you are welcome? And there's our flag. HTTP headers, very cool, much wow. All right, so we'll copy that, paste it in, and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.